call. Yes. Mm -hmm. I was just looking at this 1B State football. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like Linton and Nassau were in the quarterfinals. Yes. Crescent and Elmira, Cooley, Heartland. Uh, Heartland. Uh, cool scene in Sunnyside, Nia Bay, and Odessa. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm sure these teams, right, they expect that the players are at the right age, at the right grade. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I know that Pulsing did win the championship, yes. But let's say that you as a coach just could not admit that you were playing students at the wrong grade, yes. Yeah. And all these football players found out that my son Zachary's a sophomore and he's uh, 17 years old. Now, I would think Cooley City would be upset about that. Should I email Jim Evans as a superintendent or uh, Kelly Boyd as the principal of the Cooley City mm. School District, Cooley Heartline? You probably already did, actually. Yes. Because I know how many of the, the civil rights coordinators I've already emailed. Yes. Now there's Nassau. So, mm -hmm. um, why don't I sue Principal Quinn and Superintendent Lisa? Mm -hmm. Lisa Nelson. Oh. Because I will. Oh. Now, mm -hmm. Josh Hope as a 10th grader, 6 foot, 230 pounds. Yes. He should probably be about 15 years old, probably no older than 16. So, now, um, there seemed to be some concern about what is, oh, look at the Odessa Tigers. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Why don't we ask uh, Principal Jamie Nelson? Uh -huh. Or Superintendent Dan Reed? Uh -huh. Uh, exactly what grade should a student be in if they're 17 years old, yes, 16 years old, or 14 and going to be 15 this year? <laughs> now, this idea that uh, Superintendent Dan Reed didn't want a lawsuit from me, I don't really care. <laughs> I'm the father of five sons, and I never got notice of court hearings. <laughs> I never got a dissolution of marriage. I've been slandered for seven and a half years because the county just won't enforce the actual laws of the United States. <laughs> now, I know it's important to you to keep what you own and not spend any time in prison. <laughs> but it's important to me to sue you and have you go to prison for having any knowledge of stu- Oh, look at it. <laughs> it's the Quilcene Rangers. Oh, mm-hmm. Now, um, let me see. This is Zachary at 17 years old last December. Yes. Now, Bishop and Deacon should be in this. Uh-huh. Maybe that's Bishop right there. He's 16 years old and a freshman in high school. Yes. Yes, yes. Now, Deacon might not have made the varsity team. Yeah. But let's say I sued. Yes. Principal Sean Moss. Right. For having any knowledge. I sued Superintendent Frank Redmond. I sued the head coach Trey Batard and assistant coach Brian Wilson, as well as the athletic director Mike Thompson, yes, for uh, thinking that Deacon, yes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh, in the eighth grade, going to be 15 this year, yes, was in the right grade. And my son Zachary, yes, mm hmm. Uh, as, uh, OL, I don't know what that, offensive line, 10th grade, yes. And then, uh, Bishop, ooh, uh -huh, running back in the 9th grade and 16 years old. Mm -hmm. Now, when you use forgeries, yes, to keep me from my sons, and you slander me by saying I'm incompetent, yes, because you won't admit the evidence, I wasn't in Vernon. I'm going to sue every principal, every superintendent, every athletic director, every coach, and every individual. Well, we just can't have sheriffs slandering fathers that want their rights enforced. Yes. Now, I provided the actual birth certificate. Yes. 
I expected a phone call. Yeah. And you decided to be the perverse fools that you are. Mm -hmm. Now you said, well, we're not going to give up all those games that we won, but I thought I would make sure. Mm -hmm. Now, when the mail was returned unclaimed on February 13th of 2013. Yes. Yes, yes. And you decided to have a non-jury trial where you were going to decree the dissolution of a United Nations marriage certificate. So you gave all the residential time to my wife. I want every individual to know, yes, that I will sue every person that is professionally, yes, or legally liable for the enforcement of the rights of children. <coughs> now, for Every idiot mm -hmm. that thinks I won't do what I say. I have learned a long time ago in my personal life experience yes, that you just can't decide that you're going to disallow American citizens to use the actual court system of the United States. And as much as Jill Landis is a really nice individual, when you issued that failure to appear warrant for my arrest, yes, for $500,100, I thought it was excessive. <laughs> I think it violated the state constitution. <laughs> Every state constitution and the United States constitution. Now, I was arraigned on September 19th of 2017. And from then until now, I've sent approximately 2,500 emails a day. And your whole method of handling this was to say slanderous words about myself. <coughs> now, I just wanted each and every superintendent, which principal, mm -hmm. civil rights coordinator, to understand that when you refuse to enforce my rights as a father, mm -hmm. and I give you the evidence that the mail is returned unclaimed, yes, and I didn't get a parenting plan, which I didn't get a dissolution of marriage, I'm absolutely sure about my legal rights as a father. Mm -hmm. Now, why is it that you decided that you were not going to enforce my rights? Ooh, ooh. Now, I'm going to have to demand that Zachary Budnick be removed from the Quilcy High School. Yes. I'm going to have to demand as a father that Bishop Budnick be removed. I'm absolutely sure that Deacon Budnick has to be removed from the Quilcene High School. They have to be given to me, and you have to give me a large amount of money. Now, for the perverse pool, for, for, for fools, 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 I thought I was slanderous. I wasn't.